Good morning and welcome back to The Breakfast Show, the show worth waking up for. Now, a lot of people in Malaysia, I personally do not know of anyone who can speak less than two languages. I mean, you grow up in a community, you have come from a mixed parentage, you go to a school where you learn English and Malay. But, um, you know, when, what is the optimal age to be able to learn different languages? Is it true that children learn languages a lot faster than adults? Well, we have two guests with us here this morning. We've got um, Eliza Uy and Grace Kumari, who will be sharing with us a little bit more about this topic. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Good morning. All right. Good morning now, to you. Good morning. Now, first question. Is it important um, for you know, people to know more than one language nowadays? Oh, yes, of course. It is very important for you to know more than one, in fact, two, three, or even more. Okay, and, yeah. and why is that? Well, it is a communication part whereby it is so practical and that it can really help your child to anywhere that you go. It's just like a green passport. All right. Okay. Now, Grace, um, is it true that uh, children learn languages a lot faster than adults do? Uh, yeah, because basically children are just like sponge. They observe things, observe, or observe things faster than adults. And they learn to, you know, they have this kind of thinking that they want to explore themselves. They mm. want to learn. The curiosity is there. And they find that, you know, grabbing things as they come by, they grab faster than adults. Because we adults are being very rigid. We tend to, you know, uh, especially when we are adults, we find that um, uh, there are do's and don'ts. For children, they are very open. Mm. Uh, they find that they can grab in things very fast. Now, is it because, do you think, like, I mean, once you've learned a language, you know there's grammar and all that. Uh, and we know that sometimes the grammar between different languages can be quite different. Mm -hmm. um, so, is it because as an adult that, uh, oh, you know, we already understand that there is grammar, therefore we find it is harder, a bit harder to learn, whereas children, they just accept it more readily? I is that a possibility? Yeah, as I was telling you, because they are just like a sponge, mm. they're taking things easily. Like we adults, we just tend to choose. Children do not choose. They find that, especially if in a classroom, the teacher will teach, they take things as what it is. Like we adults, like we want to go into inter any language, we find it difficult because we are choosing. Children do not choose because they find everything is, they are very open-minded. Mm, okay, now, <clears throat> we've got a very interesting playback here which I, I want to have a look at. Uh, it's about, uh, you know, the way different children can express themselves. Uh, let's take a look. Italian, German, Arabic, Can, Kenani, you, can you show me? Which you, language? Uh, French. Oh! C'est la indépendance, c'est la 50 pays, c'est joli. C'est la indépendance, c'est la Aïniro, c'est joli, c'est la 50 pays. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Italian. 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 Wow, that's several different yeah. languages. That was what, French, Italian, it sounded like there was German in there German. as well. Oh, wow, okay. So how is that um, possible? You know, I mean, what are the ways that we can teach children these different languages? Is there a structure to it? All right, in QDs, actually, we have a very own unique tool mm -hmm. to teach the children to make the things interesting. And I can say that <coughs> overall, in our, in our school QDs, the children learn very happily and they really like sponge. Whatever you teach it to them and they can pick up very, very fast. Yeah, oh. it is true, they flip tech program that we have specially designed for them. Okay, now by mm -hmm. earning, uh, learning a language uh, much earlier, uh, for, for example, when they're that young, is it um, true that they can then think in the language as well? Because I know myself, I can speak both Malay and English, mm -hmm. I can therefore think in both languages. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you learn multiple languages, not only do you speak it, um, would you then be able to think in all these different languages as well? Do you answer this? Actually for age, we teach the age from three to years old six years old, they learn to differentiate the languages because different languages got different sound and different way of doing it. Mm -hmm. Because our program are beautifully made because we have our flip tap program, uh, we have our Be Mind program. And we have uh, structured those programs for the needs of the children. So when, they, when the teacher deliver the 
the program, the subject to the children, the lesson, they able, uh, the teacher is able to deliver it in a right proper way. Mm -hmm. Because each language got a different way, it's a beauty. Uh, especially like we have Bahasa. We have, let's say, we teach Bahasa, mm -hmm. our simple Bahasa, we come with a song. And let's say we have our English, we come with a beautiful uh, in animation. And also same goes with Mandarin, whereby we have some idioms and rhymes together. So from there, the children learn to grab things. And they know how to, sooner or later, when the time that they go out from this, from near six years old, when they go to the national or primary or international school, they're able to differentiate which language is either is Bahasa, or is going to be English or Mandarin. Okay, very mm. interesting. Now, we have a, yet another playback uh, for you. And now this one, a young boy uh, shares with us uh, about his thinking process. Uh, let's have a look. What's your name? My name is Nathan. Your name is Nathan. Your name is Nathan. How old are you? Three. 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 How old are no, okay, but, but that is what children learn. Yeah. So this is one of the uh, how yes. you can teach it. Okay, that's very very interesting. Now, um, what are some of the uh, advice you would give to parents uh, out there who are interested for their mm -hmm. children to be able to speak in several languages? I mean, not even two anymore. We're talking three, four, or, or even five, like that a child earlier. Okay, for uh, for my advice, I would say that you should send the children as young as possible. Well, many parents may think that, well, their, their learning age at five, but actually it is not. The children learn as young as what you have said just now. It is actually as young as two or three. So over here in our program here, you know, in QDs, we have this flip type program that is through animation. Children learn things fast through animation. And from there, the animation, the context understanding is there. For example, a very simple example, for example, I'll give it to you, a balanced diet. This term is quite hard for mm. children to understand. But when we have this animation comes in, children learn what is uh, this balanced diet and they understand what is makanan seimbang as well as the Mandarin jin and ying si. Three languages and it's quite a uh, difficult terms but they understand and they will apply in their daily lives. Oh. So it is very fun learning and through play activities, the full of activities when children love to learn, there's no ending, right? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Especially we have this song, remember? Yeah. Our Bahasa. Do you want to hear one sure, song sure. from us? <laughs> Alright, this is one act for okay, you. Okay. Ready? okay. Run to go. Menuai padi dengan sabit Daun padi berwarna hijau Membajak kebau Membajak tanah dengan kerbau Cari akal menentang harimau Then we go to so this is how you make them become more familiar yeah. with it. Yes, and it's our simple bahasa, pre bahasa. This is how we teach through the song. So children will learn better, you see, through songs. You know, sometimes, you know, if you go to the white boy and teach them, but we have our beautiful program, Flip Tag, our Be Mind program, where the child really go into it and they, you know, if they forget the simple bahasa, let's say they and remember they, the, song, the song, they know. Yeah. They, they will it's know. Chari, it. Akka, mm -hmm. they know it's Charlie Akka, they know It's play. We, we t our method is true play and yet they are learning. It's very focused learning and yet it's, it's imaginative and they play. Great, yeah. okay. Now there is one thing though that um, I've always wondered. Is there a risk when you learn more than one language, um, I mean, again three or four languages which is you know a lot more, um, is there a risk of then not being able to express yourself in one language completely? Um, you know, you become like, a, I suppose, a jack of all trades and a master of none. Mm -hmm. You're not able to speak any one of them very, very well. Just like, okay. I, is there a risk of that happening? No. Actually, our program, we have designed, customized in such a way that they will master the language. That is the purpose of having QD's program. You see, when we say about language, language is something very beautiful. And you must understand that when we come up with program, we have our one group of people that do our intensive research and development in our QD's. And just to take out in half an hour program in our school, they have to go thousand and thousand hours, you know, doing the research because before it's been implemented in all our sentence. So you must understand when we do something, it's not only on 
touch and go, like what we're having the touch and go card. Mm -hmm. No, we make sure the child really master before the child leaves the, our preschool. So that's why the parents have come with us for the age of three. They are continuously be with us until the child leaves to the primary or the national school or the international school. So you must understand that the kind of brand that we have, because that's why we have been branded for the four years we've been having our awards and all these things, because parents really trust Mm -hmm. And that's why our numbers, we have good response, good enrollment every year because the parents really marvel at our program. Okay, so, so my son is almost one, so when should I send him? One, two years old? Three years old? What's the Three best? Years old will be Three years old will be Three years old is good. Yes. Yeah? Yes. So yes. that's a good time to yeah. start. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you very much, uh, Eliza and Grace. Make sure you send them. <laughs> oh, make sure I send, yeah? Okay. Uh, yes, so I think they'll be, they will be following up on me. Thank you so All much, right. ladies. Thank you. Yes. Thank very you very interesting much. conversation about uh, what is the best time for children to learn multiple languages, how does it help them, and also uh, what are some of the risks involved. But uh, we sorted that out, so knowing that there are no risks involved, you can m actually master the languages from a very young age. Now, we're about to go for a commercial break, but don't go away because after the break, We've got Nas coming back with some another good story for you.